Well, Long Island is leading the state in the push for clean energy. Today, a groundbreaking ceremony for New York's newest and largest offshore wind farm. Yeah, Fox 5's Jessica Formoso takes us to Sunrise Wind, a project that will create hundreds of jobs and provide thousands of homes with energy. We are using innovation to harness the power of wind, not only to fight climate change, but also to really transform our economy here on Long Island and beyond. History is being made on Long Island with the groundbreaking for Sunrise Wind, now New York's largest offshore wind farm. 84 wind turbines, 11 megawatts each. It's a huge project, but so are the local benefits. They're huge also. This project's in bring, bringing investments worth more than $700 million to Suffolk County alone. At 924 megawatts, Sunrise Wind will generate enough clean energy to power approximately 600,000 homes and businesses on the island. It's being called an energy revolution. The line runs totally through Brookhaven, up William Smith Point to William Floyd Parkway, a couple side streets, eventually Horse Block Road. Long Island Expressway and then over to Holtzville on the south side of the expressway. Last month, Fox 5 gave you a look inside South Fork Wind, the first offshore wind farm on Long Island, about 35 miles east of Montauk. 12 turbines generating 132 megawatts of clean energy, powering 70,000 homes per year in East Hampton. The CEO of Orsted, the company behind the offshore wind farm, says it's investing approximately $20 billion into the American clean energy industry in New York and investing millions in the creation of the National Offshore Wind Training Center right here in Suffolk County. And although New York State is on track to reaching its goal of 100% carbon-free electricity by 2040, other states are pushing back on the fight for clean energy. Orsted has settled a lawsuit with New Jersey Public Utilities after backing out of a plan for two large offshore wind farms off the Jersey coast. The project is expected to be completed by 2026. As for the price tag, well, officials would not say exactly how much it will cost. All they said is that it's a multi-billion dollar project. In Bellport, I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News.